Hello everyone and welcome back to another bucket coding tutorial and today I'm going to be showing uh, vault integration with economy, uh, permissions, and a few other things that it can do. Uh, so let's go ahead and the first step we need to do is go to um, go to Google and we can actually do this by typing in uh, bucket vault and then you can click on this and you'll get taken to the, the vault bucket page. Uh, but once you're there you can see uh, it supports some chat stuff, some economy stuff, and permissions uh, things. Now we want to go ahead and download the version specific, um, the the version that works with our Spigot version. So we are using Spigot 1.8.3. Um, so then we can we have to use a 1.8 version. Uh, that should work. Go ahead and download this here. Uh, so go to download and then download again, uh, and then it should go ahead and work. Now we can drag this onto our desktop. Uh, and actually, let's actually move this into uh, this folder right in here. So we can go ahead and press OK. Move this into the episode 14 uh, module folder. And now, yep, go ahead and do that. And now we have our jar file here. Let's go ahead and open up the properties panel yet again for IntelliJ. Go ahead and go to Java, and then inside of episode 14, you can now see our vault uh, dot jar uh, is in there. You don't have to do that, but you could put both of your um, dependencies inside of the actual project uh, just so um, you can make it a lot easier on yourself for uh, figuring out where dependencies and other things are uh, like that. So another thing we have to go pick up, uh, go, so go back to the overview here and you can see if we go down here, all this code is what is used um, in, in, in just doing vault stuff. So. Now let's actually, before we do any of that, let's make a new file. This is going to be our, uh, our plugin.yml, like normal. And now we can just go ahead and do this name, uh, episode episode 14, just all the, all the basic stuff that we did in episode one. Uh, do that. And episode 14, main class will be episode 14, and version is going to be 1.0. So now what we need to do, is we need to add a new line that we have never gone over in plugin.yml before, which is the depend or the soft depend uh, thing. So since this plugin is going to be completely relying on vault, we need to put depend and then um, those right there, these uh, braces, I think. No, these are brackets. So these brackets here, and then inside of that, we want to write vault. It has to be the exact capitalization here, and it, you can actually see if, if a plugin has an API normally on their page it will say how to um, add the soft append to it. Um, and they should just have their their name as the, um, or their, their basic name that they have up here should be what you use to, uh, to depend on. Um, and now that we've done that, we have vault and everything done. Let's go ahead and do our basic thing here. Uh, extends Java plugin and public void on enable, enable, boom. So since we have a depend vault in here, uh, we don't need to add some lines of code that disables the plugin. It will automatically disable if uh, no vault is found on the server, which I'm sure I'll end up making the mistake of not having vault on the server. Um, so that'll be pretty awkward. But yes, we have this. Let's go ahead and download uh, two other things. So we're going to download uh, Iconomy. Actually, no, that doesn't work anymore. We're gonna download Craftconomy and Pex. And that's what this is what I just prefer to use. You can use anything. Uh, the Essentials Economy actually works pretty good if you have Essentials installed, but I normally don't use Essentials for anything other than uh, faction servers and just just small servers like that. So let's go ahead and download this. Uh, looks like it's taking us to a new page. There we go. Downloaded and Pex. We can go ahead and download. And these all are 1.8 ready. So do not worry. Uh, there we go. We've downloaded both of those. We can go ahead and close out of Safari. Uh, and then move both of these into the episode 14 folder just for uh, for easiness. Uh, there we go. It makes it so we don't have to scatter everything um, on our desktop like I, I normally do. Uh, so now we can we don't need to add those as dependencies, but we just have them in the in the project folder uh, to begin with. So uh, we need to go ahead and actually open the the page again. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, we do need the the lines of code. Uh, in here now you could just write this out but it's a lot easier to just go into here and take it uh, so let's just copy this and we'll modify it to our needs boom 
now let's go ahead and import all this and we are going to be unimporting some stuff in a second I uh, don't need that we need milk hold up permissions there we go so basically what all this does is it it's a it's so they're all booleans um, so basically if we call setup permissions um, we could say if setup permissions and that that could be our if we didn't have a depend flag in our plugin.yml but we're just gonna call setup permissions um, so right now we have this public static permission permission equals null um, and that basically means it's it's not equal to nothing I've, I'm pretty sure I've explained null, null before um, so yeah it's not equal to anything and then during during setup permissions we're going to say um, we're gonna do all this this code right here to get the get this the basically get whatever plugin um, is or get like our economy and our permissions plugins here uh, so what we can actually do is in here um, actually no what we can do is we can say uh, setup permissions and there we go it's actually remove chat because we're not going to be using a chat plugin for this tutorial so we'll remove it off the imports and we are going to call uh, setup economy. So setup economy. Now what we can do is we can say, okay, so we know permission and economy uh, can't can't really be null because well, yeah, they're they're not they're not going to be null because we're going to have them as dependencies. We always want to check. I am not going to to save time. Um, but yeah. So now if we go under permission dot, you can see all these fancy things uh, relating to groups and such, and the, the thing that I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you guys how to do um, a, a simple system for ranking up with prison servers or anything like that because someone actually requested it um, when I was playing around on uh, Soros Prison. Make sure to check out that series, great series, uh, by the way, <laughs> shame, shameless self-promotion. And let's go ahead and do all this. Normally I have it already, but I wanted to uh, just do it all in a, a little differently I guess uh, so let's go ahead and make a string array args and return false alright uh, so we always want to make sure we have our checker here if sender uh, instance of player so if they're not a player then return sender dots uh, send message you can't use this command and we gotta return true uh, so if command dot get name dot equals ignore case not equals but equals ignore case uh, we're gonna say rank up because that's what the that, that's what the request was uh, then we are going to do some stuff we are going to say okay so the command is in fact what we want it to be so now let's go ahead and cast our our player object here to uh, or our sender object to a player because we already know they have to be a player to get to get this far. Um, so now what we do is we say okay uh, we are going to send the player a message with their current rank just just for debug purposes not really debugging but for, for this for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to send send them a message of permission dot um, let's see get primary group for P and this will send a message of their group so we can say this is your group um, and then what we can say is space plus economy dot get balance for P um, plus this uh, is your balance so on the command rank up we're gonna tell them all this stuff and now inside of we can upgrade their rank we can set their rank to something um, so let's say they're in um, for prison for, as an example for prison say they're in rank um, rank T uh, then the next one along would be um, that'd be you uh, I had to <laughs> do the alphabet there uh, that'd be you uh, so now uh, if we can check and say if their rank is T then we're gonna upgrade them to you and so on and so forth but we're not gonna make it that that difficult to do uh, we're just gonna set their rank uh, but you guys, you guys can probably understand uh, how to how to, what I'm talking about so now I want to say um, player remove uh, player and then permission dot get primary group for P so this will remove them from their group now we want to also say permission dot 
player add uh, player add group actually this should be remove group yep there we go uh, and we want to say p for actually we don't want to say that we're gonna we're gonna put a string here and we are going to say like owner or something stupid uh, and now after that we want to do some stuff with our economy and we want to say economy dot deposit player p 25.0 because uh, it has to be a double that, that's just how um, economy works it doesn't have to be but I prefer to have that uh, that dot zero there that's what we can actually go ahead and say economy and we can read through all this we can have, we have stuff with banks we have uh, get the currency name uh, we can format a string into a double or no format a double into a string um, Which I think we should actually do up here. I think that will format it a lot nicer uh, Get balance dot. No, it'd be economy dot uh, Format for economy dot uh, Get balance for P. So it should format it and add commas. I think I'm not sure if that would work I hope it does uh, so now we can go ahead and copy this line of code again after we've done all our economy and our permission stuff we can say okay so let's go ahead and say this is your group and this is your balance and the balance will go up every single time you use the command and the group will only be set once unless I set it using uh, permissions X or PEX as I call it um, so we will not be able to go down from owner rank unless we actually use a, a permissions X command uh, but that is basically it. So now we want to go back into our plugin at YML. Uh, and now we want to say commands space and then do two spaces here. Uh, episode no rank up and then go in again description description <laughs> rip um, slash rank up because I'm not going to add a description. I probably should be. Uh, but always add a description. I'm just too lazy. So now let's go ahead and build our artifact here. And now once this finishes building, uh, let's go ahead and open this in Finder. Is there any way to to do that? Probably reveal in Finder. There we go. So here is all of our dependencies, uh, including our out folder. So we could have reconfigured this really quickly with our artifacts to go just directly into whoops. Uh, go directly into this go ahead and apply that uh, now let's rebuild it here and it'll appear in the same directory as then there we go so you can see we have our build this is our server build that we've just created so let's go ahead and create this really quick uh, spigot plugin server plugins uh, let's go ahead and remove all this probably just delete all that done all right now we should be running the I'm not sure what, what what I'm running exactly so let's go ahead um, I know I know what I'm running with my uh, computer in the in the project so I might as well just take that speed really quick 1.8.3 let's just make sure we have all that and modify you and text edit we're going to modify this the start dot command I have here to run so it's actually up it uh, if you didn't know this is the command on Mac to run um, this jar file here it does some magical stuff behind the scenes that will go ahead and run this file now we could actually instead of all that we could say um, Java dash jar and then supply a, a directory um, but we don't want to do all that this CD with all that fancy stuff right there will automatically link us to the uh, directory that the file is in so now our dot the magic dot jar or magic dot whatever that whatever this is is in just make sure that's all correct yep there we go and save that uh, hope that wasn't too important all right there we go so this should go ahead and start and we will have to do some economy setup with craft economy that's just how it works uh, but I'll do that off camera uh, so you guys don't have to wait through that so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and be right back once this is all set up all right everyone so I've set up uh, craft economy so what we can do now slash rank up actually no 
let's go ahead and do some stuff with PEX in the console here. We're going to say PEX uh, group. We're going to say like admin or something. Create and PEX user my name group group set admin. So now we need to actually PEX group owner create. All right. So now we have both of our ranks here. You go ahead and type in actually. So as you can see, you can't use this command because it's in console. Let's type in slash rank up here. Boom. Admin is, admin is your group. Zero is your balance. Owner is your group. 25 is your balance. So now if we type in money, it's 25. We do this again. Uh, it says owner is your group because we're not changing it, remember. Uh, and now we have 50 as our balance. If we check this here, we have 50 as our balance. And that is just so cool. Now if we, we can withdraw money we can do all sorts of fancy stuff and it can it can get pretty cool uh, so that's that is how you make a uh, simple slash rank up command now I know this probably isn't exactly what this person was looking for uh, but I think it was pretty close and it was a nice way to teach uh, vault support um, and just economy and permission stuff and I think it was it was pretty necessary um, so I'm very sorry if I didn't exactly get your request right sir um, but yeah I tried my best and I do I will be having a updated world hopefully for bucket coding uh, in the next two days where we can make or like a, all sorts of it'll be like this cool cool huge pine mountain area and we have all sorts of testing domes and stuff for each plugin and just we can we can go all the way up to like a hundred or something and we can we'll know exactly what we did to get up to a hundred and I think that'll be pretty cool and yeah I've been rambling on for too much you probably want to go sleep or something so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Bucket Coding. Hope you guys learned something about Vault and, uh, and permissions and economy stuff. And now chat is a little bit different, but I don't really use Vault for chat. I don't entirely know how chat works with Vault um, too, too well. Uh, but I could learn and show that in a future video. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.